Yeah, please do. And add in any key details that I should like tell my company or anything. Okay, Luke, I'll extend the event to two weeks, setting the end date to July 29th. I'll also add the key details about paternity leave, eligibility, pay and duration to the event description. All right, Luke, I've updated the paternity leave event in your calendar. It now spans from July 15th to July 29th. Eleven Labs have just released their very own personal assistant AI agent called Eleven AI. So, Eleven Labs, if you don't know, they're the most realistic voice AI platform. I've created a voice clone video on the channel, you can check it out. But essentially, what this now is, is an agentic framework for that. So normally, when you're making a voice agent inside of Eleven Labs, you would then have to like add features and stuff and there's still no like nice easy interface. Whereas here now, today, you literally just give it a name, give it a voice, you can add MCP servers, which means you can connect it up to Perplexity, Google Calendar, Slack, and even custom MCP workflows, which is pretty cool, or custom MCP servers. And then you can hit all this with a single interface where you just click and then talk and that's you straight in. So essentially the UI is just an audio UI, not a visual, so hopefully, I can buy an 11 AI soon and replace my Alexa. But anyway, let's build it out. So you go to 11 AI and it says, Welcome to 11 AI, the personal AI voice assistant built with 11 labs for conversational AI. So the ultimate assistant, plan your day, research customers, etc. So pretty cool. I always use the chat GPT voice feature on my phone, which I don't know, side note, if anyone's noticed, but it talks like this now. And it's like, uh, so that's annoying voice whereas it used to be better before they tried to make it expressive anyway so then mcp support out of the box connections and custom ones just from over 5,000 voices so i'll click next we'll just call it 11 and for the so name here 11 voice we'll pick one that's perfect for 11 ai let's listen and see this voice covers a wide emotional spec the quick brown fox jumps over the lake all right, are we cracking codes, solving mysteries, or casually taking over the world today? Yeah, go on. Either way, then. I'm in. Cool, and then create 11. Hey Luke, need a hand with anything right now? Yeah, can you tell me um, what the weather's going to be like in Carlisle today? No problem at all, Luke. Let me just check that for you. One moment. I wouldn't have thought so, though, because there's not no internet connection. Oh, sorry about that pause, Luke. It looks like I don't actually have a direct way to pull up live weather forecasts right now. My apologies. Yeah, cool. I thought that. Cool. So what we can do here now, this is like the entire interface. All we have to do is add our first integration. Understand this, but it's basically for MCPs or third party, but also this is kind of in an experimental phase, so you can't get, you can't get it by a phone number and stuff. Um, but here you can see we can add in Notion, Perplexity, Slack, Linear, Hacker News, Google Calendar. So let's add in some Google Calendar. So we'll click plus here, continue with Google. We should be able to just log in straight away. Um, and then from here, let it select view, edit, continue. And then boom. So now we should have Google Calendar. So I can say, go check Calendar. Here we go, blank July. Let me say something like, this hey luke need a hand with anything yeah. right now so please can you make a new meeting for the 15th of july saying paternity leave sure thing i'll create a new meeting on july 15th called paternity leave what time should i set this for yeah set it for the entire day and um in the description adds that it might move got it i'll create an all-day event on july 15th called paternity leave with a note that it might move just to confirm, the year is 2025 and the time zone is Europe, London. Europe, London. Sorry, yes. Okay, I'm creating an all-day event on July 15th, 2025, called Paternity Leave, with a note that it might move, and the time zone is Europe, London. Sound good? Yep, there we go. So we can approve this here, let me see. Create, so using this tool, create event, create a new calendar event with these dates, times of attendees, might move, paternity, da 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 We can approve that. All right, I've created the paternity leave event for July 15th, 2025. The event is all day, the time zone is Europe, London, and I've added the note that it might move. The mm. event ID ends in 2S. Anything else? Nah, that's good, thanks. See you later. Right, I am <laughs> so impressed already. That is so cool. So instead of always ask, we can maybe change this here so that it can, you know, 
never have to use approval or we can pre-select it. So pre-select the approvals to say allow all maybe. Disable and pre-select tool which can run. Always ask, the system can use any tool. We'll use that one. Tools here, we can see all the different tools. So list events, click on that. You can see the stuff here, the parameters. Um, get event, blah, blah, blah. And then workflows, what's this? So create a new event and summarize my day. So these are the things that I accidentally clicked on. Um, but yeah, very cool. So that's the calendar. Let's now try and hook up something else. So on 11 here, you can select here, you can see you have all your different agents. So you could probably create these and integrate them and then give them to people, I'm assuming, because they can be private. It's pretty cool. We go to settings, it opens up this here. So voice, we can change this voice to different people, as we can see. We could even see change it to me. In the garden of life, plant seeds of knowledge like a botanist cultivates nature. Which is pretty cool. But for reference, if you're going to use that, you need the pro version. Um, we can then customise the behaviour. So... What this means is we can do something like this, so a system prompt like, your name is Alexis, you're a friend of the proactive, blah, blah, blah. So you can make them be witty, you can make them be direct, whatever you want them to be. Um, my advice is try to make them ruthless, because otherwise they're not going to actually do what you want them to do. And integrations here, that's not an 11 Labs thing, it's just everything. We then have integrations here, so we can add our integrations. So we have Notion, Perplexity, Hacking News, Slack, Linear, Google Calendar. So like we could add Perplexity here, and then if we click on that, Let's up top, go to connect, see how simple this would be. And there we go. Is that it? Authentication not required. Wait, so I don't even have to log in. It just works. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. I wonder how many credits I have then. Hmm. Interesting. And, or if they'll just steal my data. Then we can have custom MCP servers. So if we click add server, new custom, give it a name description. And then we can set this here so... For like this SSE, these are the things you can do like inside any 10 which is pretty cool. Um, but also, I think if you want to see me using an MCP server, just let me know in the comments below and we will we'll add one in. Because I was just looking at them here and there's a bunch of new ones, um, but also just all your standard ones. So in here, for example, we have like, what do we have? AWS, Brave Search, um, GitHub. So you could go from 11 labs to writing code. That would be super cool. Um, querying databases. SQLite, SQLite, um, and then a bunch of other stuff here. As you can see, there's just so many MCP servers now. But if you want to see a video on that, let me know. Um, but yeah, and then we can add that server there. We can also change the avatar, and then we can change the speed so how fast we want them to talk. So now they have perplexity built in. Let me actually talk to it, and we'll get it to update our calendar event. Hey there, Luke. Got something I can handle for you? Yeah, so the previous event that we just made, it's for like the 15th of July, can't remember what it's called, but can you do a little bit of research on what paternity leave actually is and how long it is and stuff in the UK and add some notes in below because it's not for me, it's for a guy I know and I don't know anything about it. All right, Luke, I can definitely help you with that. So I will search for the event you created on the 15th of July, then I'll do some research on paternity leave in the UK, including how long it is, and then add some notes to the event. Just to confirm, is that right? Also, is there anything else I should know about the event or the notes you'd like me to add? By the way, the current time in Europe, London is 2025.06 to 29.13 o'clock. Yeah, your date and time's good. Um, regarding the knowledge about it, well, I don't know how long it is, if it's a day or a week or a month or whatever. So if it's longer than just a day, change it. Um, but it will always stop on on the 15th of July. Got it. I'll search for the event on July 15th, research UK paternity leave, and adjust the event's duration if it's typically longer than one day, keeping the start date as July 15th. I'll add the details about paternity leave as notes to the event. Just give me a moment to get started. Hmm. I'm having a little trouble finding the event with the name paternity leave. Could you provide me with the exact event title or any other keywords associated with it? If not, I can search for all of your events on the 15th of July. I don't have any other information. Just uh, just look. But it's whatever event is on the 15th of July. But I'm pretty sure it's called Paternity Leave. But it may have capital letters or whatever. OK, Luke, I'll search for all the events on July 15th and then look into Paternity Leave in the UK. Give me a moment. This is odd, Luke. Both attempts to find events have failed. I need to flag this with my team. 
but let's try another approach. Could you list out the calendars that you have available and I can look through those directly? Okay, it looks like you have four calendars. Celtic, Holidays in United Kingdom, Content Calendar and LukeBurney97gmail.com, which is also your primary calendar. Should I search specifically within these calendars to find the event? If so, let me know which yeah. ones or I can just search them all. Yeah, it will be inside the primary one. OK, Luke, I will search for an event with July 15th in the title in your primary calendar, then research paternity leave in the UK. Hmm. It seems I'm unable to find any events for July 15th in your primary calendar. Are you sure that's the right date? If you could give me the correct date or any other information, I'll try again. Um, yes, but I think the name of that calendar is actually a look J. Bon. Ah, uh, OK, Luke, I understand. It appears I was using your email as the calendar name. I will search your primary calendar, which you've named Luke J. Bon for the event, and then research paternity leave in the UK. Great, I found it. The event is called Pater Search Paternity Leave in the UK and update the event with the details. OK, so paternity leave in the UK is typically one or two weeks. Given this, would you like me to extend the event to two weeks, setting the end date to July 29th? I can also add a description with the key details I found during my search. Yeah, please do. And add in any key details that I should like tell my company or anything because I'm having to actually take paternity leave. OK, Luke, I'll extend the event to two weeks, setting the end date to July 29th. I'll also add the key details about paternity leave, eligibility, pay and duration to the event description. All right, Luke, I've updated the paternity leave event in your calendar. It now spans from July 15th to July 29th. And the description includes key details about eligibility, duration and pay. Anything else I can help with regarding this event or anything else? No, no, that's cool. Thanks very much. You're welcome, Luke. Glad I could help. If you need anything else, just let me know. And boom, just like that it works. I'm so impressed. Because you used to have to like make these things in any end a nightmare. Um, not a nightmare, but you know what I mean. It's, it's not as simple as that. So, love the eye, game changer. Um, I'm super impressed. Go check it out, let me know what you think um, in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.